This video is about a clinical case-based scenario of Turner syndrome. A 19-year-old girl visits your clinic with a complaint of failure to start menstruation. The mother tells you that she had a prenatal diagnosis because of swelling behind her daughter's neck at 16 weeks pregnancy duration. Other tests at this time showed the fetus had a 45XO chromosome. There are a number of questions which arise to answer the concerns of the mother and the patient. These questions relate to fertility, medical problems, menstruation, and any kind of treatment. So we move on to the first question. What is the name of this condition and what was the swelling the mother is referring to? The patient has Turner syndrome diagnosed based on one X chromosomes partial or complete absence. The chromosomal pattern may be XO with or without cell line mosaicism. The mother is referring to the presence of either nuchal thickness or hygroma between 13 and 16 weeks of intrauterine pregnancy. And this was seen on obstetric ultrasound. This is one kind of the marker that is seen in a fetus with the risk of Turner syndrome. Other ultrasound markers include cystic hygroma, hydrops fetalis, congenital heart defects, the most frequent being aortic coarctation. The clinical diagnosis is based on antenatal testing for chromosomes. What clinical signs may you elicit in this girl at the age of 19? She may have a short stature, webbing of the neck, increased carrying angle of the elbow, widely spaced nipples, delayed signs of puberty and cardiac murmur. Other problems that might be present include hearing problems, kidney defects, mental health challenges and vision problems. What would be the state of the reproductive organs? These organs will be underdeveloped and mentally these children are normal even if they feel awkward socially. What other investigations will you offer her and why? A serum follicle stimulating hormone level and LH level will let us know whether the girl has hypogonadotropic hypogonadism or premature ovarian failure. The girl should also be referred to a physician to diagnose the presence of medical disorders and to understand how severe these disorders are. The diseases seen in such individuals will include cardiac malformation and malfunction, diabetes type 1 and 2, and autoimmune disorders. What advice will you offer her about her future fertility? These children may have delayed puberty and fertility. They may sometimes become pregnant spontaneously but have a higher pregnancy loss rate. They can also become pregnant with ovum donation but pregnancy by itself carries a very high risk especially in the cases where there is severe diabetes and or cardiac disease. 
What treatment can be given to enhance the development of secondary sexual characteristics? In combination with progestogens, estrogens will enhance breast growth and make the vagina functional for sexual activity. With this, we come to the end of this video. If you like this video, then please subscribe, share and comment and send us your ideas about topics on which you would like to see more videos. Thank you and goodbye.